A World War II veteran is being recognized today with a new memorial in his honor. Lacey Montelion brings us more from Park Rapids. Silver Star, Bronze Star. Just a couple of medals earned by Lloyd Hawks, the most distinguished of them being the Medal of Honor, which Hawks received from President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1945. But at Hawks' gravesite, there was no mention of the honors he'd received. There was nothing there to honor him at all. There was just, he was just buried there saying he was a, a master sergeant in the U.S. Army. Nothing about his medals, nothing about his heroism. While Hawks was serving as a medic in Italy during World War II, he rescued three fellow soldiers who had been wounded. During the rescue, Hawks received multiple bullet wounds that left him with a fractured hip and a very damaged arm. Years later, Hawks died after a clot in that damaged arm traveled to his brain, leaving his only daughter Charlotte without a father at only 11 months old. He's always been a great source of pride, but this just brings everyone together. 59 years after the death of her father, Charlotte says one of the best things about today was the number of people who showed up. It's overwhelming. She has no memories of her father, but points to her favorite picture of them as a sign of what he may have been like. Mom made us all put kimonos on. She's got dad in a kimono too. He must have been a good sport. The memorial today not only honors Hawks. They knew he was buried out here. They knew he was buried with no recognition. Now he's recognized as a national hero. But gives his family some closure. Lacey Montelion, Lakeland News. Besides the memorial today, a medical clinic at Fort Stewart, Georgia, was dedicated to Hawks in 2007. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.